Aries what's up baby it is scorpion reds tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time for your mid-month remix to let you guys know what energies are going on mid-august the 15th through the 31st shout out to every last one of y'all who has clicked this video shout out to all my baby loves if you want to book a personal private reading with scorpion reds tarot only thing you need to do is click that about tab you'll see a bunch of amazing links um, for you to connect with me and or for you to support um, if you want to book with me the first link you'll see is my booking link it says scorpion reds tarot at simply book me again scorpion reds tarot simply book me go ahead and click that link and select the desired reading that you want and make sure that you connect with me on the back end so that we can um do the video chat so you can connect with me once you purchase your reading on Instagram you'll see my Instagram link directly under the booking link just click that send me a message say hey Rez this is so and so I booked with you at this date of time and I'll take care of you there baby and if you don't have an Instagram you can use my email which is scorpionrez at gmail.com and you can communicate with me through Google Hangouts it's an easy app to download and only thing you need is my email alright which again is scorpionrez at gmail.com so again book and then link and then we'll connect for the video for the um for the video chat reading if you want to record your video chat reading so that you can go back and look at the recap and you know go back and look at the reading um there's an add-on that you can purchase that you can use for a video recap or you can use it for a direct upload if you want to record your session or if you do not want to do a live video recording if you want to um just send me your question pertaining to the um, uh, reading that you purchase and you want me to do a direct upload we can do it that way now if you select to do your reading that way and you choose not to get on um, camera with me to do the video chat session just make sure that you only send me the question pertaining to the reading that you purchase don't tell me the meat and potatoes around the situation while you're asking a question um, I like to go into the energy blind because I don't want you to say hey I just told you that so just make sure that you only tell me what you want to know and then I'm gonna go directly to source and I'm gonna see what source has to say and we'll connect on the back end and see you know what resonated okay and what didn't so what else do I have to say if there's anyone that wants to send any support to the page number one the first way to support is just clicking that like button but you know make sure that the video resonates and it gives you some insight um, I, I hate it when people say when you come in click the like button I don't know if I like the video yet so if you like the video <laughs> the first way to support is to click the like button okay and if um, these videos resonate and you feel moved to do something um, more I oh, want to give a shout out again you guys are the first uh, first sign to get this deck here the music oracle deck so this just came in from the amazon wish list shout out to everyone who has been sending love like and support and i'm so sorry i should have written down everyone who has been sending support so that i can shout you guys out i will catch you guys on the next video but you know who you are shout out to everyone who has been sending support and love through the page i appreciate you so much oh i want to give a big shout out to craft and conjure um craft and conjure is also um a content creator go check them out they've been sending a lot, of, a lot of love and support to the page and thank you all again if you want to support you can send a dollar or two through paypal i got my um cash app on there for scorpion rights tarot and it was well the amazon wish list is there so you know there's many forms of support um and again most importantly click that like button and share and subscribe so um thank you again for all of the love so let's get into the energy for my lovely Aries my babies all right father God thank you so much for all your divine light all your divine wisdom thank you so much for walking us towards our purpose us being on our path thank you so much um we have been you know laughing and enjoying the summer the best that we can because uh, listen you already know it's been a little topsy-turvy but for some reason like we just don't care like we still have fun like we still just being Aries you know what I'm saying like nothing's gonna stop that nothing is gonna come in a way of Aries doing what Aries want to do what Aries want to do it um father God thank you so much um you know God bless the child that has his own and with that being said God bless the child that has his own mind his own vision you know because a lot of people out there they don't know what they want they don't know what they want to do they don't know who they are and one thing i can say for sure aries knows who they are and thank you so much for um 
our individuality and just making us who we are. So, Father God, thank you so much. Please lead us to, you know, the path of freedom, happiness, tranquility, and just peace and abundance. Uh, give us guidance for my Aries for uh, August the 15th through the 31st. And thank you again for all of the blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for my Aries. All right. So, let's see. And I got my music uh, playing card deck here. So this should be quite a treat. All right. So let's see what kind of artistic energy we got. What beat and song is our life going to at this point in time? For Ooh. Okay, Shakira. Shakira, boom. Okay. Shakira. Okay, sex kitten, sex mama, hot Latin tamale. Yes, it says don't dream about the sunset at the midday. Know your rights. Travel is most of the is the most effective antidote to indifference. Ooh, and I'm seeing y'all look like it's a lot of animalistic nature. And ooh, she is beautiful. Come on, Shakira. God damn. What's a, what's a Shakira song? Why I don't know no Shakira song? I just can picture her videos with her moving them goddamn hips and shit. That bitch. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. It said, don't dream about the sunset at midday. Know your rights. Travel is most effective antidote to indifference. I feel like there's something going on. And it's like, look, I don't want to dream about money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to get it. Y'all animal instinct is coming out and it's, it's roaring. And I feel like you want to be at the right place at the right time. It's like, I don't want to dream about money. It's like some rap lyric is trying to come out of my, my soul and I can't, I can't, it ain't coming out. But you guys are about to move. No, I, I don't necessarily mean that you guys are moving. Like, residences or something like that but it's something about you guys are trusting your animal instincts and it's telling you to go this way like you can't like you gotta you gotta go you gotta be at the right place at the right time you know like how animals and nature is changing or even a natural disaster you can tell something fucked up is about to happen if you just see the animals start to scurry and shit Shakira is moving them hips and her body is 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 doing something the natural instincts is saying it's time to move. Are you gonna miss that sunset? You can't sit there and dream about it. You gotta move. The King of Pentacles. It's about your foundation. It's about your fruits. The temperance. It's I'm about your foundation and So, if this is making any sense, you know, if you watch like National Geographics and everything when the animals are in a safari and stuff, and like the lions and stuff, they're waiting for the great herd or something to come in because all during the year they might be struggling to find food like that, but they know that this herd of buffalo, you know what I'm saying? normally comes to the river or the lake because they travel from far in a big ass herd just to come to this lake every year to drink this water and i feel like for some reason some of y'all have been suffering i don't know if y'all have been going through some type of financial something like that it's like y'all have to be at the right place at the right time for when these water buffaloes or whatever come in so that you can Get your stock. Get your food. The King of Cups. What is this? I'm feeling like there's two men. Y'all are being urged to move to... Ooh. Ooh. Aries has to be 
their animal instincts is trying to tell them, baby, it's time to move your hips. Do you understand? You have to be at the right place at the right time. I really do feel like you guys are tired of dreaming about a better life, about a better relationship. Y'all tired of the indifference. I feel like you guys are with a king of cups right now. You guys could possibly be dating a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. And these are males here. Okay? These are males here. There's the Pisces, Cancer, the Scorpio. And then we also have the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy here. I feel like you guys are in between. I'm not saying two different relationships because I don't necessarily feel that there's a relationship with both. But I feel like there's a decision being made. Because... I feel like you can no longer get away with this. Like, I, I feel like you can no longer get away with this with these two right here. With the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I feel like your instincts is telling you that you're going to get caught, caught up. And it's going to be a great battle amongst the two. Like, if they find out what's going on. I feel like you don't. Like, you're confused and you're trapped in a bind in love. And you're trying to... Make a, a quick decision and get out of there. Before anyone gets hurt, I really do feel like that. But you're trying to make the right decision because you don't want to make any mistakes in love. You want something that is strong. Something that is financially sound. That is really going to stand the test of time. Something that is going to continue to grow and blossom throughout the years. Without question. Without doubt. Without wavering. You know what I'm saying? And... I feel like this one poured their cup out in regards to you. This one has shut you off emotionally. This one, I don't think that this person is even equipped to give. I feel like this person has some level of insecurity with them. They look good and they feel good. Lord knows they feel good. But at the same time, if you're not in bed with them, it doesn't feel good. Like this relationship doesn't feel good. This person doesn't make you feel wanted. This person doesn't make you feel needed. This person doesn't make you feel desired. It's like almost when you're around this person, like the most y'all might do is fuck. And you might listen to this person complain about their fucking problems. And it's, uh, it's always something that this person is whining and complaining about and it's because this person has their own issues and their own emotional insecurities and drama like this person is a lot of like emotional drama but this one is where you're going to find the ace of pentacles with aries do you see the fruits on his gowns do you see the fruits on his gowns like that's what this person is about procreation and like i really do feel like maybe this person wants to have a child with you like i feel like this person wants children i feel like children is very at this stage in this person's life i feel like this man might have worked a lot and he takes care of his stock and i feel like that's why your animal instincts is telling you to be at this water pond or some pond or going somewhere around some water it's something about water because this is where this person takes their animals to drink or something like that and like he don't really look like someone who has a lot of money because this person wears his like this person wears work clothes a lot but when this person is not in the work clothes you don't even know this person goes back and sits in luxury and royalty and things like that but you would miss this person because they're not just hanging around in clubs or bars or saloons and shit like that. These people, I feel like maybe this person works with animals or something. This person could work with animals. Um, I'm, I'm hearing dogs. Like this person probably has a lot of dogs or something. But I feel like this person either works with animals or wherever your animal instincts is leading you to his animal instincts is going to lead him there too and y'all going to meet somewhere around some water and then that is going to encourage you to pour this out this person that poured you out and wasn't pouring into you you're going to pour that shit out because you found peace here you know what i'm saying like you found peace here and not only that you found someone that 
is going to work with you. Someone that's going to work with you. But I'm being pointed to look at. It's like no. It's like. It's, they're saying they're telling me no. Because if you look at it. The person. The temperance person is pouring. The king of pouring a cup out near the. They're pouring the cup out right here. Near the king of pentacles. And this one. I think is where they're trying to find this balance. And this peace of harmony. And it's like, but it's not there though. You know what I'm saying? Like this person poured your cup out and you're pouring this one. Like what what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like I feel like there's this indecision and there's this sneakiness and it's like this person is battling with their rights because, and that's why I think this is saying, don't dream about the sunset at midday. Know your rights. Travel is most effective antidote to indifference. Like you got to trust your animal instincts. I feel like you have more of a connection with this person, but I feel like you have a sense of liability to this one. Because I... What I'm getting here is that you're looking at the King of Pentacles as if this is just fantasy. This person will never want to be with me. This person, this is just this is just a daydream. This is just a dream. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I feel like you're pouring it out and you're keeping your foot on base more what reality is you dealing with this bullshit with this King of Cups because you feel like it's tangible. It's something that you've already been dealing with. And even though this person is manipulative, a this person been fucking you over. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person is a fucking thief and a manipulator. I feel like... It's, this person is a thief and a manipulator. Do you know what I'm saying? This person knows how to use their emotions and play with your emotions and shit like that to emotionally manipulate you. Like, this is somebody that did something wrong and they'll come in the house mad and be like, I done had a bad day. Don't even fucking say nothing to me. Da, 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 da. So you can't even try to approach them with what the fuck they did because they're trying to overtop you with it's a manipulation. Do you understand what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They feel like they're unmatched and they're untamed. And, and it's like they they push their insecurities on other people. They make their self to come off to be a victim. Like everyone's uh, uh, abusing me. Everyone's against me. Da, 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 da. And it's like you be walking on eggshells with this person because you don't want to say the wrong thing to tick this person off. And the next thing you know, you're dealing with all this emotional. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And it's like I would love, like I say dreaming about sunset at midday dreaming dreaming it's all it's, it's a dream but let me pour that out because reality base is this is what i'm dealing with this is what i'm dealing with and i know that to know my rights travel is the most effective antidote to indifference so it's clearly indifference here with this King of Cups. You see what's right on the side of him. You see what's on the side of him. But I feel like you would have to like literally. I feel like you really need to just like in in inside. I feel like you don't love this person no more, and you kind of just want to like like slay this person like. This person with their emotional manipulation and their bullshit and all this stuff, like this person always trying to make you feel like you're doing something fucking wrong. And it's like, it's pure game and shit. And I feel like you're finally aware of that. Don't feel like you're not worthy of this. Do you hear me, Aries? Because this person doesn't do all of this emotional manipulating bullshit to you. And like, you really do need to stand up for like Aries. This is not the Aries that I know. Aries that I know will stand up and be like, bitch. Watch out, little bitch. Listen. Watch out, little bitch. Watch out, little bitch. You getting mad while I'm getting rich, nigga. I don't fucking like you no more. Don't nobody got time for your topsy-turvy bitch-ass mother for your bitch-ass emotions and your bitch-ass. Don't nobody got time for your bitch-ass. Got more emotions than me. Shit. The fuck? 
Always crying about something. That shit is unattractive. I don't love that shit no more. I'm not about to keep allowing you to keep getting away with this bullshit. And really, really, you're coming around and you're stealing my time. You're stealing my money. Money. I feel like every time something come up missing, this motherfucker be like, everybody always trying to blame me for something. Everybody trying to... Nigga, you stole it. You did steal it. So don't try to come over here with this bullshit and then it's like they'll even jump down and try to get violent with you because you don't believe their lies. Like, that's this type of person. This person is a real fucking balls up piece of shit like i'm dead ass serious like this person is a piece of fucking work and i done told people i done dealt with people like that before and i've told them listen you play do you play that dumb shit with people that allow you to play with them like that but a real motherfucker can see what you're doing this person is trusting their animal instincts they're not about to dream about better days and being in a better type of relationship and being around better mentally stable people because this person needs to get their self together they, all of this drama and this shit don't have nothing to do with you it has everything to do with them because they're insecure and they're not where they want to be in life and they're going to make everybody miserable around them and they're going to rob steal and kill and take whatever is available for them to take and whatever narcissistic manipulative underhanded way that they can get it they're going to get it you understand what I'm saying? And you're going to, and you're going to, and you need to, because your body is telling you that you need to get the fuck away from this person, and you need to be at the right place at the right time so that you can have this blessing. Don't believe you can't have that blessing, baby. Continue to put your foot in that water. I need you to have more faith in that. You understand what I'm saying? Be patient and just know to trust what your body is telling you, because this person is not going to continue to get away with this forever. Do you understand? I really do see that Something is going to, oop, something is going to happen. Something is going to happen where you're just, it's, it's like I've had enough. You're going to catch this person up in a fucking lie. Not only that, I feel like your animal instincts is going to, these are both spy cards. These are spy cards. You're going to find something out. And I really do feel like someone is stealing. Like someone is stealing. There's some money or some jewelry. Or something of value that is missing. And it's all going to fall down. It's all going to fall. It's all going to fall down. And you're going to realize that this ain't about love. It's about principle. Like I'm not going to continue to allow. To get away with this shit. And to continue regurgitating this bullshit like you're a motherfucking victim do you understand what i'm saying no 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 no. like i said aries is not going to allow this person to continue to do that they're going to go towards a new beginning a new blessings they're going to plant a brand new seed and start all over again i feel like somewhere near some fucking water i feel like y'all are going somewhere near water give me guidance give me guidance about this king of pentacles. I feel like there's definitely going to be a big verbal altercation. It's going to be a big altercation. Where Aries is going to tell this person finally that I don't love you. And I know that you took that money from me. What did the, <laughs> the nine of hearts. The nine of hearts. Yes, you guys most definitely have met someone that you have rose colored glasses on you you're like oh my god and it's like you're really really feeling this like with this solar plexi chakra it's just like this person just gives you a different burst of energy like a different vibration like seriously you see how much this person is smiling you see how Elton John is smiling like seriously Daniel said so ooh Kylie Minogue, like at the end of the day, is this Kylie Minogue? Kylie Minogue, this is most definitely the bloom and blossom of a new love relationship. But you do see it's the three of hearts. It is a third party because like I told you, this asshole is right here. Let's get some guidance about asshole. Give me guidance about the king of cups. The seven of, <laughs> the seven of diamonds. Like, I feel like this relationship is old. I feel like your high has worn off. I feel like this person most definitely has a drinking or a drug addiction 
issue. I feel like that has a lot to do with this thief, this thievery. I feel like this person has a drug addiction. This person most definitely have a drug addiction and I definitely see that you're going to withdraw and come to some form of contemplation about where you stand with this person. Something happened with some money. This person stole something and it's because this person is on drugs and or this person is an alcoholic and this shit is old. And look again, this person is a fucking stoner. This person is on drugs big time. Big time. This is the four. This this is definitely someone that's in your house. This is someone that you live with. This is someone that you've been with for 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 a fuck a while. You've been with this person for a fucking while. And this person has been at it for a while. And I mean shit, and you can even like maybe this is like y'all connect with each other because I really do feel like y'all be stoning and y'all be getting high with each other. Like for real, for real. Like I don't know, y'all smoke weed or something. I don't know. Like I don't know what the fuck y'all be doing, but y'all be high as fuck. High as fuck, both of y'all. Okay? Both of fucking y'all. I'm sorry. Like, no. Like, I'm sorry. Y'all whole fucking apartment smell like tree and fucking absolute or some shit. Like, I don't know. Like, cause I don't know this old man. I don't think he, he drink absolute. I, I feel like that's an old man that drink absolute. Give me some guidance on Callie Minot and Elton John about this new love. Okay, what is this? Okay, bye. Hold on, you guys. Okay. He's downstairs. Okay. Y'all gonna sit with the clock. Okay. Just flush with water and just lay down. Just bring, just bring the bucket in. I'm sorry, y'all. My daughter's sick. Okay. Anyway. So in regards to this thing with this King of Pentacles here, oh, I got the Ten of Hearts and the Nine of Clubs. So. I most definitely feel like this is like out with the old, in with the new. You know what I'm saying? You got the right one, baby. Pepsi, bitch. Okay, bitch, you got the right one with this one. I really do feel like all your plans in regards to the future, like success. Like, I really do feel a lot of future success. I feel like there's a lot of closing of old chapters and old cycles in love. Um, Like, um, what the fuck? I'm hearing, you got the right stuff, baby. That is not a Madonna song, but that damn show is that era. Y'all remember that song? You got the right stuff. <laughs> I can't remember how all go, but I'm hearing like you got the right stuff. And then she's saying you got the right stuff, licking her damn shit out like that. And he's saying, yeah, you got the right one, baby. Like both of y'all, oh my goodness. I really do like, and I feel like, this is like blind love. Like, he don't even need no vision to see. Just like, I just really do see that this would work out here. I really do feel like this would work out here. It's a lot of pop and soul and, and soul right there. I think the only thing where I see that crown chakra base that purple in the back I really do feel like you need to come to some understanding about what you're losing you understand what I'm saying what you're losing because I see that purple here with her too because even though you be high as fuck I feel like y'all drink a lot like I don't know like maybe you gotta be inebriated Am I using the right words? Like in your home in order to deal with each other or something? Because this motherfucker is a manipulative fucking asshole. Like I feel like when he high and he feeling good, like he's cool. But if he's not high and if he doesn't have his liquor and all of whatever the fuck it is he needs to aid him in his emotions every day. If it's a day where he don't have no drugs or no alcohol, you're having a horrible motherfucking day. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said, you almost got to be high to deal with this person. And I feel like the only blues, the blue skies and, you know, the darkness surrounding the situation, I feel like this person doesn't see and doesn't know that you have this shit going on in your house. Like, this person doesn't have any motherfucking idea. And because this person doesn't have any idea about it, like, that's... 
I feel like that's the reason why you're going to, like, you're like, I should just pour this shit out. Because this one is not just going to allow, like, it's going to be a battle. It's going to be a fight. And I even can see this one trying to fight this one. Like, I really do see it. And it's like, be <laughs> he going to have to call me right back. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey. Uh, hey, um, uh, if we can make it a little early, I can make it out there now. If you want, I can probably be there about 10 minutes to 5. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Okay, I'm on my way. Okay, bye. <laughs> anyway. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see what's going on with this Ace of Pentacles here. Let's see what's going on with this Ace of Pentacles here. I definitely see that. Oh, so let me clarify this Nine of Clubs for you guys. I'm sorry. I want to clarify this Nine of Clubs real quick. The Nine of Club is a traditionally a card of luck, of travel and achievement, luck in business, luxurious business opportunity, a lucky break or a successful career move. Like I said, you going to do the best thing for you if you change who you involve in your business with. You, you better off over here. It says... Um, Represents time and space, distance, someone or something far away, a long duration, something long lasting. Surrounded by space, this card can denote postponements and long delays, which it does not have no space, only hearts around it. Also, this is a card of travel from notations of time and distance. This card could represent a journey of business or pleasure. It can be a card that represents an emotional, psychological, or physical journey or the quest for self. So I feel like this is someone that you're keeping at a distance. Like I said, you this is someone that you're keeping at a distance. But let's go and clarify what all of these hearts means, honey, because I'm trying to tell you this is where your heart should be. This is where your heart should be. The nine of hearts wishes hope a dream aspiration your wishes coming true success accomplishment desires fulfill a positive outcome so like i told you this is a wish that you're pouring out because you feel like it's just fantasy like you want to be with this person the three of hearts baby the three of hearts represents love beauty happiness a new love relationship a love triangle if surrounded by spades Creative talent, artistic ability, creative achievements such as poetry, artwork, fertility, blood life, prayer, religion, a growing embryo, an increase of something beautiful such as a blooming flower, a developing love affair, a growing child, a small celebration, a job promotion. So like I'm trying to tell you, this is like you taking a step up, you being promoted. And like I said, like. Knowing that this shit is going to pan out and it's going to have long lasting longevity. This person is someone that you're keeping at a distance because it's just a wish, but it's not a wish. Like this is something that can truly blossom into what you want because this ten of hearts is victory, emotional fulfillment, happiness, enjoyment, amusement, emotional commitment, marriage, compatibility, heat, warm weather, the summertime. Okay. Ain't it the summertime, baby? The time is hot right now. Sweetness. I'm trying to tell you. Now, let's look at these hot motherfuckers over here. Because, goddamn, I'm trying to tell you these motherfuckers. How is it, motherfucker? Okay. How does Kai say? Hide in a cooter brown. Okay. So, seven of diamonds. Financial achievements. Reward and recognition. Earned success. Steady improvements. Efforts and reward. Lucky bunny wins. A pay raise. Improved prospects. A nest egg. Financial investment. Stocks. Bonds. E-trading. So, it's a very good possibility that the only reason why this person is with you. And, and it could easily be like, um... A codependent situation, like, I, t I think I said it before, like, this person has a drug addiction issue, this person has a drug addiction and or an alcohol addiction, this person cannot get to where they want to go on their own, like, they constantly are promising steady improvements and things like that, but they look at you as their nest egg, do you understand what I'm saying, like, 
you're their financial investment. Do you understand? You're their improved prospect in life, like them coming into your life. So that's why the, the stealing and all of this, this underhanded shit, this, you're the nest egg. This situation for them is a nest egg for them to kind of skip by life, kind of do what they want to do, chill back and get hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the four clubs, this is like the home. This is a home, like this home. I feel like they feel it's a nest egg. Like they're not going to have to, like they don't have to go anywhere. Like they can, <sighs> the four clubs, stability in business matters. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I feel like y'all's relationship is more based off of business than love. This is based off of love. This is business and codependent compatibility bullshit you know what I'm saying because y'all like to get high together y'all like to party together like you know what I'm saying anyway it says a practical foundation stable conditions laying the foundation for future progress a stable business environment using good business sense do you hear me oh my god four walls of a building or room the four legs of a table uh, a working table or social table Four-wheel vehicle, a coach, a car, a truck, a baby carriage. Like, you could feel like you have to take care of this person, like, as if they're your child. Like, this person don't do nothing but sit around the house and get high, bring in minimal bullshit. Whenever they want something, if you don't give it to them, they won't argue and fuss and fight and still go on your purse and take it anyway or take your car or whatever the fuck. Like, this... <sighs> mm. Look... Over here, it says the two of clubs. So, this is you coming to some type of determination that, listen, I am seeing more rainy days over here than sunny days. Like, I don't want to dream about the sunset at midday. I want to experience it. I want to experience it. So, this is you having to come to terms like, I might need to change who I'm doing business with. The two of clubs. A social business invitation, a social correspondence, or any kind of business benefits being given. Uh, receiving or exchanging a gift, a birthday, or anniversary present. Something being received but not limited to material things. The gift can be someone's time or energy being given freely. You know what I'm saying? So, you're... You got two different options here. You're, you know what I'm saying? It may be a piece of helpful advice or a special favor or even a bit of good news, a clock or time. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's you changing your business and your social standings or how you're, how and what you're investing your time in because like that crown chakra, like you have to understand that your time is money and your time is valuable. Once people come and steal this from you, you can't get it back. You understand what I'm saying? You can go look for a new beginning elsewhere, but you can't get back lost time. And a lot of money, I mean, shit, once people steal and do all this shit, like, you gonna have to work your ass off to get it back. And, and someone could have stole some shit from you where you're having to start from, you're having to start over. You understand what I'm saying? And, like, your animal instincts is itching you. Like, I feel like you guys, I don't know why, I feel like you guys don't believe that, like, it's obtainable, and y'all about to throw this, this beautiful thing away. Like, you gotta know and believe that you deserve better. Like, why even try to continue to entertain this and find peace here? Why? Because it's already something that you go home to? Shit, I wouldn't want to go home to that shit to journal. It is most definitely something that you're going to find out. You're going to find out some hidden shit. And I really do feel like if you look in your bank account, you might find some of your money is missing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I really do feel like, and also that you guys are trying to study and trying to find a way to kind of maneuver out of here, the writer. Like, I feel like this person that just kind of popped into your life, they came in unexpected. And this person is young. This, this person is chivalrous. This person is meeting all your needs. Like, wishes are being granted. And I can even see that you might be writing secret shit. Like, it, like, you might be writing to your friends, telling your friends about, man, I just met this new person. Like, I don't know what to do with this situation. Like, I don't know what to tell the dude I got at home and shit. Like, this motherfucker's an asshole. And I don't know if I try to break up with him. It's going to be some shit. 
um this dude is coming into town he don't live in my area like i'm i'm thinking about moving over there starting a new beginning like it's a lot of shit popping what is this the mountains like yeah like this person this person i really do see i feel like this person coming into your life it's making you see over these obstacles, over these barriers, over these challenges. And this person is making you want more. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you are so high and stuck in this illusion, this bullshit with this idiot right here. You didn't see past this person. I feel like now that this person has just kind of jumped into your life, like you're able to see more. You're, o you're able to see over this barrier and this blockage. Yeah, you're able to see over this, you know? And it's like... I feel like you're writing someone telling like your friends this one like and protect your passcode y'all protect your passcode okay you're telling people about this new person that's just a subtle arrival this young man that just came into your life that just is fulfilling all of your needs and you're telling them about all of the drama that you're dealing with at home and how you're finally seeing a way out and you want to find a way to make this permanent but you just feel like it would be a fucking challenge. Like, you just want security. Like, I feel like you just want security. You want balance. You want to be able to get over this obstacle and find some level of security. Yeah. But you you know you, you got a snake in your... You got a snake. Yeah, you got a snake in your... You're writing somebody about this. But you're telling them that this time is up with the snake. Like... You're looking for security and you want this snake out of your motherfucking life. And you writing someone about your plan. You might be putting someone in on this plan. But I also want to tell you, be careful who the fuck you writing to. Who's this snake? The snake is the person that you got the child with that has the key to your house that you have children with. This is the snake. The person that is trying to come off innocent or tries to use the innocence of the children or something like that as a, as an entryway to kind of come in and out as they please to do whatever the fuck they want to. That's this motherfucker. That's this motherfucker. Ain't no way in hell it could be anybody else. So you're writing. You're journaling. You're writing, telling people about this situation. And how you want to anchor it in to get over this obstacle with this bullshit, with this person. That you got this child with. That has the key to your house. You don't want this person to have the key to your house no more. And you're corresponding with someone having to change the keys to the locks of your house because you want more structure and security and like this person's time is up and like yeah most definitely i'm sorry yeah most motherfucking definitely and if this video cuts out you guys i am sorry but i will be back baby lord jesus this is some tea honey this is some tea aries Go with your animal instincts. All right, let's see what we got. Bounce that ass till you can't no more. Okay. Clarify. Shakria. <laughs> I need to stop saying her name like that. Shakira. Clarify Shakira for me. The miser, yes, is trying to tell you to hide all your assets and everything like that. I need you to hide your fucking money. I think I want you to like take all your direct deposits and everything. Go get you a new bank account and move everything over there. Start hiding your money and just start moving. Just start keeping everything to yourself. Don't be telling this motherfucker where you're going. Don't tell and like don't be careful who you're telling your business to. Be careful who you're telling about this situation because I feel like you might be talking to someone that you think you can trust, but I don't really trust that motherfucker. I really want you to just be quiet and just do it. Whatever you want to do, 
go with your animal instincts just do it you know what i'm saying and even change your passcodes on everything change your passcodes because you are writing about this shit somewhere nothingness nothingness nothing fucking this young nothingness i believe that this 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 right here i believe in tarot the hierophant is number five and what this is basically saying is that you need to hold back and tell motherfuckers nothing you understand what i'm saying you just got to go back to black on motherfuckers because at the end of the day, it's just like, I feel like your core foundation, the people that you're listening to, you got to be careful who you're listening to and who you've been entrusting and envisioning your future with. Do you understand? Because I feel like the people that you've been dealing with, first off, they're snaky. They're not to be trusted. You don't love them. They don't love you. They're not pouring anything into the situation. Only thing it is is a big pot of nothingness. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you have to pay attention to who you're allowing to lead you. Do you understand what I'm saying? The Hierophant. You're getting married or you're going to commit yourself to nothingness. Do you understand? If you continue to engage this way. That's why you need to hold yourself back with this four pentacles right here with this miser. You need to hold yourself back and definitely don't give anything to fucking nothingness. Do you understand what I'm saying? Aloneness in the reverse, okay? I don't want you to be afraid of being alone cuz when you're alone that's when you become your best, your best self. And I really feel like you guys are scared of being alone. What is this? Interrogation. Huh. Interesting. New vision. That's all major arcanas right there. So... This is a major change that's about to come into your life regardless if you like it or not. Do you understand what I'm saying? What you have to realize is that you are introducing your entertaining with nothingness. Do not allow the thought of being alone and having been strong enough and to kind of face your own truth. You know what I'm saying? And deal with your, your the light and the darkness because at the end of the day, it's like, why would you even allow yourself to be sucked into that? Period. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, it's like almost having no faith in having, that's that temperance in the reverse. It's like almost having no faith and no strength to leave something like this because it's like I'd rather have something and have nothing at all. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'd rather have something than to have nothing at all. But now that you're realizing that this is nothing at all, the something that you have and the something that you are, you're willing to hold yourself back because you realize you're feeding yourself to a dark pitted beast. I'd rather be alone than to have someone coming down on me with this level of interrogation where it's almost beating my hopes and dreams where I can have something new. Like you almost poured this cup out and felt like you weren't deserving of this. And you were better off just being where you are. Like don't ever. And when you surround yourself around people like this. They do feed and steal all that happiness. That good. That want to be better. That lovingness. That joy and peace. You start looking at this misery like it's joy and peace. Because you've sunken into the, the sunken place of nothingness. This is the sunken place. Do you understand? Right now you were realizing that I need a new vision. It's time for me to take my fucking world back. It's time for me to take my fucking world back. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get some guidance for my couples. No, excuse me, my singles. Any guidance for my singles in love? Give me guidance for my singles. My single Aries in love. What type of advice? This is the Rebel deck. Okay. Give me guidance for 
my single Aries. It says, you're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. You look like a shit show. I feel like y'all really been in the fucking sunken place. Like, seriously. Y'all been, listen, it says, get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. You need a good fucking cry. Like, I really do feel like you guys have been involved with the wrong people. And you've been surrounding yourself around people that really have a lack of faith. Like, they don't believe in anything. Like, these people, these people ain't shit. You understand what I'm saying? And you almost fell into this, this dark hole with them. And you're better than these people. You understand what I'm saying? And now you finally see something on the level of who you are. And you realize that you've been surrounding yourself around darkness, around fucking nothingness. That was like stealing from you too. You know what I'm saying? It says some good shit is about to happen. Don't. Ooh. And it says don't let your issues fuck it up. Boom. Boom. Let's get me some love cards for my singles. Ooh. So this says playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. You guys have met someone that you have been kind of like playing with the idea of like opening up to. Do not fall into the sunken place. Do not continue to play with the idea that you deserve love. Do you understand what I'm saying? And laugh and enjoy yourself. That is the best healer. Uh-uh, we, we ain't about to do all of that. Is the best healer. Any other messages? Okay, so what does it say? It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you share with the ones you love. Do you understand? So, with that being said, continue to be around people that you can laugh and enjoy your days with you understand why you want to be around someone who's going to lie manipulate to you steal your money only around you because they need you or looking for a place to stay someone that is not with you for the genuine goodness of who you are they looking at the situation like it's a business transaction like this is not a fucking business transaction my nigga like um <laughs> the fuck do you understand what i'm saying the fuck so Give us some guidance in regards to the two cards here. What's coming in the future in August for... Ooh! Uh-oh, that false person. Ooh! So, we got the false person card here. We got the toil and labor and the bad health. So, I feel like the false person, meaning... I feel like someone that you've been dealing with in your past, someone that is your karmic. You understand what I'm saying? Someone that you were in a very tumultuous karmic situation with in the past that you have since left. I feel like this person is going to contact you and let you know that they've been going through some excruciating situation that's put them in like about a bad health. And I don't want you to listen to that shit. That's that dark sunken place. Look, they're going to tell you that I can't take this anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. I feel like they're going to kick you some bullshit about how they got to work so hard. And it's, a, it's, you know, they're in this bad health and it's suffering and like they need you and all of this stuff like that. And I want you to focus on you. You understand what I'm saying? When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you share with people that love you. Don't pay attention to people that only come around you when they need you. Don't come around me when you fucked up and all busted up and shit like that. Like, I don't like, no. Do I look like motherfucking Mad Star Health and shit, nigga? What the fuck? Do I look like a goddamn hospital center? No, I don't, motherfucker. Please and thank you. Go on with yourself. Go on with yourself. What is this here? The Queen of Swords. Y'all gonna cut that shit out real quick. Ooh, is that some lesbian action here? You got something else over there sucking on your bosom. Good Lord, girl. Jesus, Louisa. What y'all been doing, Aries? Keep it there, please. Aries, keep it there, please. Goodness gracious. Y'all said, um, 
I'm smart enough to know better. And it could be possible maybe y'all just overall change y'all's taste in what you're attracted to in general so <laughs> what the fuck y'all said i'm not no goddamn fool no more with your dirty broke ass get your dirty broke bummy ass the fuck around from here because at the end of the day i don't know about all them other bitches yeah they might be fascinated by your old dirty bummy broke ass and they might listen they might be fascinated interested with what you got in them pants and stuff but i done had it before um I'm not that fucking entertained. I ain't no fool no more. And I don't even like, I don't even like motherfuckers like you no more. Okay, I'm on to something new. Thank you very much. Go on somewhere with that. Go somewhere with that, with that sick ass shit. Don't be coming over here sick, busted down and pure. Okay, all right, what is this? This is the night of motherfucker coins right here. Because at the end of the day, me and my new friend that I done met here, Okay, he ain't nothing the fuck like you. And not only am I getting fucked good, this person is treating me well. This person came a long distance to be with me. And I ain't worried about shit going on with you no more. I'm really not. I'm sorry. What is this? The chariot? Yeah, I've moved forward victoriously into love and in life. And I'm doing pretty fucking well. So I don't know what you're looking at or what you came over here looking for, but you might want to take your rabbit ass the fuck on wherever the hell you came on. Thank you very much. Take care now. Bye bye then. Next, let's go to couples. Thank Thank you very much singles just wrap that up for you they said um bitch um to huh huh shit god told me to move on i got something better and something to keep it way better nigga i ain't even got you to do give me guidance for my couples give me guidance for my couples Any guidance for my Aries, my couples? Hmm. It says that mouth of yours could start some shit. Watch what you say. Mmm. And this is saying, listen, you still don't fucking get it. Stop running your mouth. Stop running your mouth. I really do feel like, um, oop. And then this send a pic is right here. It says send a pic. Sexing will make their fucking day. So I really do feel like you guys are talking to somebody else. And it's telling you to send a pic. But that mouth of yours could start some shit. I feel like you... This person is going to... The one that you live with is going to say something and y'all are going to get in a verbal altercation. And then, like I said, you're going to end up running your mouth too much before you can really get up out of Dodge. And you're going to tell this motherfucker, I don't love you and I've been doing this and nigga fuck you and I know what you're doing. And that's going to, that you going, you going to play this shit wisely. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't, don't. Hold on, power, boom, look, you wrapped up with a snake. It says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You know that you're dealing with a motherfucker snake. You know that you got to take your power back. And in passion, it says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. You are like <laughs> a magnet, like you've attracted someone new. And like I said, you're trying to go for a new beginning, but you still wrapped up with a motherfucking snake. You got to play this shit smart. You hear me, beloved? You got to play this shit wise. Distant horizons. Ooh, occupation. I feel like this shit is... Continue working in silence. Message of concern. Give me one more. Coffin. Ooh! Mm. So, I really do feel like... Remember that anchor? Remember that hook you was trying to... You didn't feel like you couldn't anchor this shit over here in. That's why you about to pour it out. Be patient and work in silence. 
work in silence do you understand what i'm saying do not let your mouth get ahead of you do you understand i really do feel like within the next six months you're going to be able to send the person that you're dealing with that is the blockage that is about in a message of concern and i feel like you're going to be reading it over and over and over again just to make sure that it's worded right and then give you enough time to get your ass up out of there because you basically want to let this person you're going to send this person a message of concern letting them know that you're ending the relationship and that the relationship is dead and i can see you rereading and rereading remember i told you that you were writing a letter like you were writing this letter and i really do feel like part of it has been you documenting how you feeling and the other part of it is this breakup note you know what i'm saying and you communicating with this person that's at this distant horizon it's like look i need to tell you the truth about something like I'm in this relationship, like, blah, 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 blah. I really do feel like, you know, like, I really do feel like that. I really do feel like that. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the person who's writing this letter, what are they going to say? It's saying, songs are speaking to me. I just want to, I just want you to be happy. You were never far from my mind. So I want to say that they're going to explain to the person that they're breaking up with, that they're sending this message of concern. I really feel like they're going to tell you, like, they keep hearing some song over and over again that's, like, tricking them. It's like some, like, breakup song or something like that. Some breakup song. Um, Oh, my gosh. I just heard a summer in Miami, but that's not it. It's like a breakup. And shit, maybe they want to go... Spend the summer in Miami. Maybe the person that they're with lives in fucking Miami or some shit like that. Like, it's some song or something that they're listening to that's triggering. But they just, it's like, I just want you to be happy and I just want me to be happy. And you're never far from my mind, but, like, I'm moving. <laughs> like, I'm about to spend the rest of my summer in Miami. But don't even tell them that much either. But I definitely feel like you guys are... Y'all might even text them a breakup song or some shit like that. I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. Jesus. This is the Ace of Swords. Yes, this is the Ace of Swords. So, yes, you guys are both definitely sending someone a message of communication, of truth and clarity. And I think it's going to hit them right in a good place. <laughs> what do you say? Don't let that door uh, hit you on... With, with, with the Lord split you on the way out. Like, I definitely feel like this is uh, going to be a, a a letter of communication and some clarity that there's going to be a death and there's going to be an ending. And someone just really wants to be left by their self. Wow. I've never even seen that card before. Yes, the Six of Swords, too. Listen, the party is over. It ain't over. <laughs> the party ain't over. Groove me. Yes, it is, bitch. The party is over, okay? Come get your badass kids and let's wrap this shit up. And, um, come clean these plates off and shit like that. And come put these chairs up and shit. And uh, someone gonna take this trash out. Like, the party is motherfucking over. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like this person is going to be screaming and crying. I'm trying to tell you this person is going to cause a scene when you break up with them. Ooh. Yeah, most definitely... I hope y'all don't send this person a picture of you. Did. Oh, my God. Like, I just... No, I don't think y'all should do that. I don't think y'all are going to do that. But I most definitely think... This person has a nasty mouth and this person talks to you ridiculous any fucking way. So, I feel like when you send this person a message and letting them know that you're moving on and your ships have sailed and you're moving on elsewhere and that you're moving out and that you're not going to be with them anymore. Because that's what that three... That's what the Three of Wands, that's what the Six of Swords, that's what this means. These are all breakup cards. These are movement cards that people are moving on. And this person's going to be like, oh, yeah, so you out there sucking somebody else's dick, you fucking whore. Yeah, you whore. Like, this person is going, you see the little badass boy screaming and all this shit. Like, he's going to be screaming, talking all of this fucked up shit to you. Like, I told you, didn't I tell you it was going to be a big-ass verbal altercation? And this motherfucker going to be like, yeah, whatever, I don't love you anyway, bitch, you're a fucking whore. This, this, and that, blah, say, blah, yeah. Yeah, bitch, I did take your motherfucking money. You ain't getting it back, you stupid bitch. Blah, say, blah. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, what is this? The seven of spades. Listen, I told you. The seven of fucking swords. Like I said, you had a thief in your house. 
There's a stranger friend in my house Don't know how I could figure out Who me or you say you are You gotta be someone else Cause he wouldn't treat me like that And he wouldn't treat me like you do He would ignore me, he wouldn't ignore me Now I'm convinced there's a stranger friend in my house Ooh, yeah. Hey y'all, y'all remember that song? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't fucking the words because I don't like that shit just popped up in my head. There's a stranger friend in my house. That's what I'm gonna name this motherfucker. Anyway, Aries, I'm the fuck up out of here. Look, y'all better look, y'all better go with y'all animal instincts and move the motherfucking hips and listen, bitch. Move, look, spend the summer in Miami. Y'all click this video. Uh. <laughs> Hit me in the inbox. Y'all let me know what the fuck is popping on. Like, what's popping on? Look, he got a brother. Y'all going to my... I'm trying to go to Miami. Anyway, bye, y'all. <laughs>